Hi everyone and happy Valentine. So today in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use particle system and uh, this particle system is going to generate some balloons. So I have uh, downloaded this uh, free uh, PNG uh, like hard texture from uh, somewhere that I included the link in the description if you want and uh, so let's begin so let's create a particle system and uh, before we change anything let's go back to our game view when you create the particle system you have this uh, particle system here and if you like disable it you won't see it so enable it so and uh, if you go to main camera, change your solid color, uh, change the, your like clear flag to solid color and change the background of the camera to somewhere related to Valentine. And let's uh, come here and okay. Uh, so we, we, we don't want our particles uh, to show these um, white uh, circles we want them to show some buttons so we will like drag this texture and here you can see this green plus and it will create the material for us and uh, of course this doesn't look nice so if you go to our material and come here and go to legacy shaders and to transparent and choose one of these like I don't want to go through this one so I will just select the, uh, this one and you can see the hearts here and the same is here and now you can see the balloons so this is somehow in the middle of the page but we, do, we want our balloons to grow from like below from the bottom of the page so we will come here and we will bring it a little bit down and again down and yes I guess it's much better okay uh, so here um, it like it uh, the loop is on by default so we will just keep it for the minute and we will uh, like change the size of the balloons so they will look nicer we can see the texture so we can come here and you can see this this 3d start size we will click it and i will prefer to have it 10 10 10 okay but the balloons like appear so fast and disappear so fast so we need to slow them down so we will change this 5 to 1 and um, we we'll say that uh, like we can increase the lifetime because the lifetime is five and it's short and it just appear and disappear and i will change it to 30 but the speed is st oh no, not the speed sorry um, we can change this to one and this one is to 30 but uh, it generates so fast so we will uh, we need to reduce the particles uh, like um, maximum particle that we want to use so if you come here you can see this maximum particle we will change it to 10 and um, yep and we need to change the duration to one so we don't need to wait for another run to show us the particles and we'll make it one okay there is one more thing that you would like to know is the shape now you can see that it starts from the center of the bottom of the page and it starts to like um, uh, distribute like a cone because it is cone because it the, the way that the shape should uh, like uh, go up is like a cone it is by default but you can change to something else like sphere or hemisphere or box but i don't like to use any one of these for the time being and uh, or edge 
so I, it is good for like explosions but for the time being I will leave it to be con and uh, yes I guess that's it so there's something else that I would like to know uh, you know uh, is that I would like to add a C sharp script okay before we create the C sharp script let's make this particle system um, a prefab so uh, like, like I want you to every time like you click on the screen it will generate these balloons for you so we will drag this particle system here and we will like delete this particle system and the next thing we need to do is to create a c-sharp script and name it like generate ps okay and double click to open the Mono Behavior Editor. So until it opens, we can create the manager. Go to create empty like game object and change it to like maybe a uh, heart heart manager. Seems something funny, okay? And then connect this script to our manager and open the mono behavior and uh, here uh, in the update uh, so as I said we are going to click on the screen and it's going to generate uh, these balloons for us so we will say if input dot get mouse button I will prefer up because when you use the mouse button uh, and until you like leave the like uh, button it will keep generating multiple particle systems so we just want it to generate one particle system with 10 balloons so we will use this one and we will say the button number so it's like the left click and here um, okay here we can instantiate the particle system but before instantiate it we need to like have it as a variable so we will write public particle system and name it ps or whatever you like explosion or like magic or effects whatever suits you that you can remember in the future okay because it's public we should see it here so let's refresh it but sometimes it takes long okay we can like remove the component and add it again oh we have an error okay what is it okay yes we forgot this one okay save it so now we have problem with particle system call system okay ps okay now everything is fine sorry for the delay and the error okay now we can see the placeholder for particle system drag this prefab and drop it here okay now that we dropped it here uh, in order for like um, document to look nicer uh, we can go to edit and format and format document okay and now here we should instantiate the particle system we will write instantiate ps and close it and semicolon save the script and go back to unity okay now do, go to the game view okay uh, as I said you need to change the background color for the camera now let's play the game and click here and you can see it generates this beautiful hearts for Valentine happy Valentine everyone thanks for watching bye